Hey guys and welcome back to the Coders Legacy channel. In today's video, we're going to explore how to create a splash screen for our Nutica EXEs. Now, what is a splash screen? Well, anyone who's been working with these Python to EXE converters knows that the EXE can take several seconds to load. In fact, that's a fairly normal thing. Any application, any heavy application like Photoshop or uh, anything like that, sim anything similar, they take roughly two to five seconds to load or for example a heavy game so we have the concept of splash screens that we can basically display because when the user clicks on an exe he kind of expects to get some visual response from the exe and if it just hangs on him for five or ten seconds that looks a bit weird it doesn't give off the you know a good impression so what we can do is use the splash screens okay so uh it's actually pretty easy in nutica surprisingly all you need to do is copy paste this snippet which i got from their website from their uh documentation i mean so we need to actually make a few imports over here import os and import temp file and you may or may not have to install this module. I can't remember whether I did or not. Uh, but if it doesn't, just use pip install temp file, okay? Anyways, so here's our code. No need to modify it. No need to do anything fancy. Just keep it right here, okay? I have this image over here, by the way. We're going to use this as our splash screen. And no, before you ask, there is not a way to use a GIF or something. Right now, as far as I'm aware, only simple PNGs or GPGs are supported. Okay, don't try anything else. And secondly, one more restriction is that we can only use the splash screens in Utica on the one file mode. Okay, don't try using it on standalone. It won't work. Okay, it even has it in the name. Hold on. Let me show you the command. So um, let me just, uh, I have some commands here that I was using earlier. Okay, let me just uh, change this from standalone to one file. And I'm going to come over here and copy paste this. Okay, this is the option. It's uh, literally called one file windows splash screen image. So this is probably only going to work on Windows as well. So just keep that in mind. Over here, in parentheses, sorry, in quotes, I'm going to type in the name of my image, flash.png. You may have to use the file path, okay, if you're not executing this command in the same folder as your Nutica installation, sorry, as your Nutica Python file. So just keep that in mind as well. Okay, I have my tutorial.py and splash.png in the same folder. All right, and now this is going to run, and we should see our splash screen show up whenever we click on our exe. I'm going to pause the video right here because this is going to take a while. Okay, so see you when the compilation is complete. So our compilation is finally complete. Let me just go over here in the file explorer, and here's our one file build. I'm going to open it up. Oh wait, we don't need to because the exe is right here. Okay, double click and here's the splash screen. All right, there we go. And it's going to be there until our application loads up and now it's gone and now our application is right here. And just one thing I should point out, I think this is actually a big deal, but don't put any uh, quotes over here. Okay, uh, I actually tried that with the quotes and then the splash screen didn't close. I'm not sure whether that was an isolated incident or whether it was caused by these quotes, but just uh, keep that in mind. Okay, even if you do a file path, just do it like this. Okay, no quotes. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see more Nutica content, I have a lot of it and there's more coming out in the future. So do subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.